We have a stand up with Allie. A story on your summer plans. My favorite video game would probably have to story on your favorite video game. And another urban expedition. Hey Vikes, I'm Madison. And I'm Jessica, and this is your daily news. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. New scholarship opportunities have been added to the Class of 2019 Schoology page. Check them out. Attention all juniors. The Alumni Association is planning to sell t-shirts to raise money for scholarships. See Schoology for more information. If you are planning on going to the Europe trip in 2021, make sure to check Schoology out to find more information about the trip and make sure to sign up. Contact Mr. McAllister for more questions. Cody went around the school and asked you all about your favorite and least favorite video game opinions. Let's see what you said. Okay. Hello, Seaman High School. Today we are going to talk about our video game opinions. So, what are your guys' favorite games of all time? Mortal Kombat. Apex Legends. I like Putt-Putt Goes to the Zoo. Final Fantasy XV and the Evil Within games. Uh, I'd say Gubble for the PlayStation 1. Okay, uh, the Soulsborne series. I'd say TF2. My favorite game of all time is uh, Kingdom Hearts. My favorite video game would probably have to be Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. What are your guys' favorite video game systems of all time? Um, Nintendo 64 because of the nostalgia behind it for me. Uh, the Switch because it's portable. Uh, the PlayStation 1 because it has Gubble. PlayStation 2, I grew up on it and all the games on it. I love it. And you? PC Master Race. PlayStation 4. PC. PS4, love that a lot. Game Boy Advance. What are your favorite protagonists of all time? So out of every single game that I've played, uh, I think Ness from Earthbound. Just because, you know, He's been with me for quite a long time, and I see him everywhere, and now he's hung up on my wall and on my desk. Ness is my favorite. Okay. All right. And yours? Um, the Chosen Undead from the original Dark Souls. Liu Kang, definitely. Uh, I'll say Octane on the Apex Legends game. Spyro the Dragon, the Legends version. I gotta go, I gotta go with Link. I mean, let's be real here. Putt Putt. Noctis. Uh, Gubble from Gubble, because he goes through character development, he has character depth. Alright, anything else you would like to add? Stop playing Fortnite. And play Apex Legends. Gubble is the greatest game ever made. Play it right now. Next week, we'll learn more about your least favorite opinions. Wednesday is the application deadline if you'd like to join the Writing Center staff next year. The Writing Center is only open during seminar in Mrs. Sand's room, W6 until May 17th. The last day to purchase coffee from the Biking Brewery Coffee Shop is this Friday, May 17th. Math, math, lab is, math Lab will be closed after school on Wednesday. FCCLA are selling burritos to get to nationals. Let's go over to Allie to learn more about it. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Miss Jones to talk about the FCCLA burrito sale. So what's it for? We are selling burritos for, to raise money for FCCLA Nationals, the National Leadership Conference in Anaheim, California. I have eight students who qualified for national competition. So what kinds are you selling? We are selling breakfast burritos and dinner burritos. The breakfast ones have a choice of any combination of sausage, egg, cheese, onions, peppers, and potatoes. And the dinner burritos, you have a choice of any combination of bean, cheese, beef, or chicken, and onion. So how much are they? They are $20 for a dozen, and you may order half dozen of each, or even half dozen. Or if you just want one because you're really in the mood, it's $2 for one. And I do have a few pre-made already and in the fridge if you want to see me for them. Make sure and email Ms. Jones to order. Make sure to buy your burritos from May 6th through the 23rd. The SHS parking permit purchase process will be moved to an online format beginning on July 5th. See Schoology for more information. 
Laptop check-in is coming up. Prior to check-in, organize desktop materials, clean and back up device, and remove personal items. Check Schoology for your check-in dates. We went around the school to see what you guys were doing over summer break. Hey Vikes, we went around to see what students and teachers were doing for summer vacation. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we're going to go to Florida this summer together. Um, and then I bought her Shawn Mendes tickets, so we're going to that together. This summer, I'm going to, first of all, go to Nationals for FCCLA. And I'm going to go to the beach in Texas with my family. <laughs> And I'm going to go to a church camp. Um, I'll probably just do whatever, you know, go out, spend time with friends. So this summer I plan to do a lot of traveling, and one of the places that I'm going to go is California, so that should be fun. For the summer, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going to a dance camp. Um, so I'll just be training more in dance. And then also I'll be uh, flying to New York City to uh, arrange my apartment because uh, that's where I'll be living. Um, and then also I will be having to go back to LA to get my headshots done. And then also um, talk to the producer for my TV show. Thanks, Mikes. Hope you have a great summer. Sounds like you guys have awesome plans. Before we swim on over to Madison for our sports, here's a quick commercial break. <laughs> Yo, dude, man, you need to clean out your locker. Yeah, man, no, no kidding. <laughs> Thanks for getting me out. No problem. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher, and I used to not be able to do parkour. You see, I got so tired because I had a lack of vitamins. But with the help of salad, I've got all the vitamins I need. I can just nozzle this stuff down. Mmm, delish. And now I have all the vitamins to do all this great parkour. Now to your regularly scheduled program. Coach Chuck and former Coach Gardner men instruct the Shawnee Sharks, which is a team designed for improving your swimming. See Schoology for more, for more information. The girls swim team placed third at the Centennial League last Friday. Good job, Lady Vikes. Girls swim will be in action this week at State. Make sure to go out and support your Lady Vikes. Let's head over to Josh Duncan to learn more about how hot this weather is going to be over this week. Good afternoon to you. You should start to notice an increase in the humidity levels by today. And as we take a look at the next four days, overall it's a pretty humid air mass with the exception being Wednesday slightly less muggy, but yeah, for the first time this year, you are gonna notice a little bit more moisture content in the air. Now, that also results in heat index values boosted above the air temperatures. Check this out, Tuesday and Wednesday we'll have heat index values topping out in the mid to upper 80s. Then on Thursday, get ready, heat index values will be approaching 90 degrees, and they could be a little bit cooler once again, by the time we hit the end of the week. Then some big changes on the way because we're tracking several rounds of the potential for heavy rainfall and severe weather starting on Saturday. Should catch a break for most of Sunday, but much of next week looks very active with several rounds of potential severe thunderstorms. Here's the seven day forecast. You can see very warm conditions with highs in the 80s continuing through the rest of this school week before the active pattern moves in. Get ready for some unsettled weather coming up. Now, Jessica and Madison, back to you. Thanks, Josh. The urban explorers are back. Let's go see what they're up to. <laughs> Oh, 
Hi Vikes. You know, a lot of people say you can't explore a lot of places in Topeka. So Chase and I have decided to go to Sports Center and play some putt-putt. Let's go. Four. Hole in one. Don't tell Dealey Nardo. Still can't see at the end. Bye, Vikes. Today we visited the sports center and we sure had a blast. See you next year, I guess. I haven't played Papa in a while. It sounds like fun. That's it for today, Vikes. Tomorrow there will be a teacher dance-off. Have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.